slot for the video cutout. But like I was saying, uh, I used to have a dog, all right, and he was uh, he was a, a rebellious little piece of shit. Yeah, kind of buddy. Uh, whenever I would be on his head, like cause he used to like to go in the garbage. But if I, if I was standing in front of the garbage or trash can, he wouldn't touch it, all right? Because I'd beat him, I'd kick him back from it. But as soon as I turned my back or left the room, all right, he'd be, uh, he'd be waist deep off in it, all right, eating whatever he wanted. All right, and that's how our people are. Whenever uh, the Most High would hold somebody in front of us to keep us in check, we'd play along. But then as soon as they left, we'd go right back to the bull. Uh, we got something. I can keep going on mine. I got something. Oh, you, you can pull it out. Here you go. Oh. Um, Proverbs 1 and 28. Then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They will seek me early, but they shall not find me. For they hated knowledge and did not choose to fear your... Yeah, of yeah. Did I say the scripture? Yeah, you call yeah, it. You call okay, it. fine. So like you. Well, uh, uh, verse 29. Then they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of Yahweh Shimei They would none of, they would none of my counsel. Con, so basically the most high he's saying how when he, uh, when the doors of mercy was open, all right, when he was, uh, uh still, uh, uh, how shall I say it? Lenient. Yeah, when he was lenient, our people wanted to wanted to uh, not take him serious. All right, they they wanted to uh, do whatever they felt like. Oh, that oh y'all talking about the Bible? That ain't gonna happen. Oh y'all niggas crazy. Oh blah blah. We gonna go. We gonna go be atheists. We we gonna go worship Buddha. All right. So when the Most High brings his calamity, he he's gonna be justified and uh, mm -hmm. laughing at him, which he's gonna use his men, the prophets, to laugh at him. All mm -hmm. right. When when people are getting killed. On a mass scale, getting raped, shot down, stomped out, uh, torn to pieces, famine, niggas falling off of buildings. The Most High, he's gonna he's gonna laugh uh, the wicked to scorn. He's just gonna look, uh, look at them using his men, because all all the people that didn't want to take him serious now, when times is easy, are right, they gonna really want to take him serious when times is hard out here? But he's not gonna be uh, he's not gonna open his ears uh, and his gates to the wicked. Uh, you got more on that? Kind of just a little bit more. They despise my reproof. That's it. Uh, on that. Oh, ah. Therefore, uh, verse 31, therefore they eat of the fruit of their own way and be filled with their own devices. Yeah, so they do whatever the fuck they feel like. And they're going to do that right up until the time that they, uh, grandma died. Up until grandma <laughs> Uh, up until uh, 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 Big Mama LaQuisha get her brain splattered, uh, all right. While uh, Esau come kicking the front door, and he got an M416, and he set it on semi-automatic and three, three, uh, three, uh, round burst. Kind of, yeah. Three, three assault rifle bullets go through her skull and her head just, just blow the fuck open. Oh, then that's when the people gonna want to take the Lord serious. <laughs> what you gotta say? Uh? Oh, it's like it. Or he might want to say some bullets and just bayonet her. <laughs> That's when, that's when our, our people are uh, procrastinators on the mass scale. They they keep putting things by until the last second. That's why the scriptures say, well, what is that? Uh, damn, it's basically saying that's keep putting stuff by. Uh, not to put uh, all of the uh, day by day. day. Yeah, 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 yeah. Time. yeah. That's what our yeah. people is doing. Oh, I'm, I'm going to get my life together with God later Eventually. on when I'm done. When I'm done <laughs> going. Eventually. When I'm done selling these drugs, when I'm done getting this money. Alright, y'all gonna, gonna get y'all yeah. life right when y'all see a man. Because this happened before, a brother mentioned it a while back. Uh, I don't remember what video I seen him, but them them uh, Greeks was so foul, man. After a dead man was, uh, after he was dead, they had pull up uh, his skirt and rape him. <laughs> and, and he's dead. So when y'all see shit like that happening, that's when you, that's when you... Yeah, that's fucking foul. <laughs> well, who's in power? The same motherfuckers, the Greeks. Oh, it's just, it just, it just modern day, it's just the Edomites. The same damn devils are back in power today. So, and everybody know how, uh, all the brothers know how Esau got down during that, that uh, during the siege of 70 AD. The brother Shekhan was reading about it last night. 
in the 70 AD, it was, a, it was famines. Troop, the troops was, it was so many dead bodies, the troops was just running over people like it was, like, like it was grass. That's, that's what's about to happen. It was high men. Yeah. They had to bring their legs up high to get over the dead bodies. And then the, 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 the burns and the screams of the city was so bad, the, the, the screams of the, you could hear the screams of the city more than you could see the, see the smoke. That's how much fire and, and tor torment was going on during that siege of 70 AD. And then uh, another thing in Josephus, they mentioned uh, that, uh, that the real prophets tried to tell them not to go up there, but, but, they, but, the, but they still went up to the mountain. And what, look what happened. They got fucked up. Uh, uh, I'm gonna finish this real quick. Uh, uh, that was it for me. Uh, and Judges two and eighteen. And temple. That's not temple. Temple. Uh, temple on the mountain. Uh, uh, Judges two and eighteen. Yeah. And when Yahweh Bashim Yahshai raised them up judges, and Yahweh Bashim Yahshai was with the judge and delivered them out of the hand of their enemies all the days of the judge, for it repented Yahweh Bashim Yahshai because of their groanings by reason of them that oppressed them and vexed them, it came to pass when the judge was dead that they returned and corrupted themselves more than their fathers and the following other gods so, to serve them. So the Lord got tired of hearing Jake complain. Yep. Jake said, oh, we ain't got to be. Ooh, it's some good. Lord save us. Help us. And Lord, Lord's like, all right, I'm saved. I'm saved. I'm going I'm, to I'm, I'm bring them back. The then the damn fucking... Then not, but then uh, the judge died, and then Jake back to the same wickedness, man. That 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 shit. That's why the Lord put us in this captivity, modern day, man. Cause that shit pissed the Holy Father off, man. He he set you free from your captivity, and then you go back and doing the same. All in the vomit. Yep. Turn. Oh yeah, like you know, turn it back to your own vomit. Can I uh, finish? What the hell was that? That's also a Okay, I'm gonna finish this off. Uh, Okay, it's still in verse 19. And the following other gods to serve them and to bow down unto them, they cease not from their own doings, nor from, from, from their stubborn way. Alright, so that's that's our people, stubborn rebellious. Alright, so that's why uh Khan, that's why Mosai he's gonna get rid of them. The only ones that's gonna make it out is the electum and one third, because those are the only ones trying to turn back and uh and be right. Alright, like yeah. in that uh can you get a bit of uh, some of that address again? Uh, Read that I want again. just a little bit of it from the first verse. Uh, or the point basically where it says that it's stubborn. Uh, shoot, you can go to verse five in the fr first chapter and get that. Uh, <coughs> this is a uh, second address chapter. Or did you just? Did you give it? Did you give it? You said. Right here. Yeah. You, well, no. Where did you just? Where you read when we started? Oh, okay. This is uh, 2nd Ezra chapter 1, verse 25. Seeing ye have forsaken me, I will forsake you also. Yep, so the Mosai is giving payback. He giving uh, recompense because we did it to him first as a nation. We is the ones, the Mosai ain't lied to us. He ain't never broke his. He told us, I'm a, uh, he told Abraham, I'm going to redeem uh, your people. They're going to be down in Egypt. I'm going to bring them out and make them a great nation. He kept telling us, I'm going to do this for you. I'm going to put you on the land. He put us in the land. I'm going to make you all above the heathens. He put us above the heathens. All right, our our uh, name went out as a fear to the heathens, but we was the ones that kept fucking up. So he just giving us that ass whooping that we deserve. All right, he kept telling us what to do and what not to do, and we kept doing the opposite. Uh, you can get. Brother, you got something? Yeah, yeah, I got something. I get it. Okay. Get your Bring it out now. Yes. Okay. Con, this is um, the book of Isaiah, <laughs> chapter sixty six and. <laughs> Verse 4, and it reads, and this is Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh the Most High speaking. I also will choose their delusions and will bring their fears upon them, because when I called, none did answer. When I spoke, they did not hear, but they did evil before my eyes and choose, so like it, and chose that in which I delighted not. God, so our people chose to dabble off in wickedness when the Most High. He, uh, can, you, can you read it again? He Con, said, Con. This is Isaiah chapter 66 and verse 4. And it reads, I also will choose their delusions and will bring their fears upon them. Because when I called, 
none did answer. Yep, so when he called, none answered. When he called, our people was too busy uh, running off in their neighbor's wife. All right, when he called, our people was too busy uh, sacrificing their children at the uh, at throwing them into fire at the altars. All right, when he, when he called, our people were too busy being America's next top rapper so he can get that money. All right, so he can get all the bad bitches and do all the drugs and shit. All right, that that's what our people was doing whenever the Most High called. You keep going up. When I spake, they did not hear. When I spake, uh, when he spake, they did not hear. Who's he speaking to right now? His prophets. We go out every. We should be on every fucking TV channel of every goddamn news station from the time that the sun goes up to the goddamn sun goes down. We in every, and I'm not even just talking about Gray Millstone. Now I'm talking about uh, the Hebrew Israelites in general. A whole bunch of out of no out of no damn where yeah, over the last over the last what thirty some forty some maybe last last fifty some years. Now out of nowhere, a whole bunch of colored I'd say colored men. Men of uh, <laughs> minority men going out in in all countries in the world claiming that they the Hebrew Israelites. Do you think this would be the guy? This a break the goddamn internet? Yeah, you would think. That's a that's a miracle. <laughs> You'd be like, damn, who's all these? These <laughs> people don't even know each other, but they all. Why are they all grouped together talking about? Why is er, why everywhere I go, huh. I see a group of either Latino yeah. or some black men standing there. Or some Native Americans standing there saying they is like, huh. why every city motherfuckers that travel and shit be think, probably think that why every city I go to, I see this. They ain't do not when nine eleven happened. <laughs> they let that shit go everywhere. How, how come they don't let this truth out? All right, and then, and then even if we was everywhere, our people still wouldn't listen. Even if we had goddamn infomercials on commercials, <laughs> one eight hundred commercials and shit, hey, they our people it. still wouldn't listen. <laughs> come, keep going, man. Come. <laughs> Or if there's, if there's no more on it, it's fine. You got more on it? Yes. They did evil before mm -hmm. my eyes huh. and chose that in which I delighted not. Huh. So our people chose to go down that wicked path. Huh. So he gonna give them that, that, uh, that righteous ass whooping. That's what our people deserve. Uh, I got something. Huh. I got a couple. Not the two. Uh, uh, <laughs> this is uh, Deuteronomy 30. In uh, 15C, so, uh, see, I have set before thee this day life and good, and death and evil, and that I command thee this day to love the Lord, Yahweh, by Shem Yahshua, thy power, to walk in his ways, and to keep his commandments, and his statutes, and his judgments, that thou mayest live and, and, multi and multiply. And the Lord Yahweh by Shem Yahshua thy power shall bless thee in the land whither thou goest to possess it. But if thy heart run away, so that thou wilt not hear, but shall be drawn away and worship other gods and serve them, I I denounce unto thee this day that ye shall be that ye shall surely perish. That ye shall not prolong your days upon the upon the upon the land, whether thou pass over Jordan to go to possess it. I have called I, I have called heaven and earth to record this day against you, that I have set before you life and death, blessing and curses. Therefore choose life that thou both that both thou and thy seed may live. So that so that day, which was pronounced before heaven and earth, that that Moses said before Israel, the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, life and death, and and Moses was hoping you niggas would choose life, and and not death, that that you may prolong prolong your days upon earth, but Jake wanted to choose death. They want to follow after wickedness, follow after whoredoms, and, and idolatry. And, and do whatever J Jake want to do what Jake want to do. So the, this is what the Lord did unto him. Uh, this is Deuteronomy uh, 31 and 17. Then my anger shall be kindled against them in, the, in that day. And, and, and I will forsake them. And I will hide my face from them. And they shall be devoured in many evils. And trouble shall befall, befall them, so that they will say 
in that day are not these evils come upon us because our power is nothing is 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 not because our power is not among us I, I will surely hide my face in in that day and and that's what the purpose of the Lord was supposed to prove the to that that was the purpose of the Lord bringing all this hell upon us so Jake can turn back to realize that all, all this is happening unto us because Yahweh Shem Shai isn't with us. But Jake hasn't acknowledged that. They haven't acknowledged their transgressions before the eyes of Yahweh Shem Shai. They haven't turned from their wickedness. So more evils and more hell and more tribulation and more death and destruction and more famines and, and everything is going to come upon you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. You Puerto Ricans, you, you Boricos, you fucking Morenos, all, all of you, man. Death and destruction is going to come upon you because you don't want to turn back unto your power, man. Goddamn enchilada cooking motherfuckers, man. Yeah. We're going to fucking cook y'all up. Like, <laughs> just like all that food you love. Yeah. All that spice. We're going to spice y'all ass. Shit, like, then Puerto Rico is, yeah, got Puerto black. <laughs> it's a blackout for six months out there, man. That's When we was in Chicago, a uh, couple of the brothers we was outside talking about how you Puerto Ricans love fucking pork, man. You eat pork more than damn near all the tribes, man. Y'all fucking... I was, uh, you know, Nikki, she was fucking sitting there eating some, everything that bitch put in got fucking pork in it, man. She a damn Ephraimite. I, man, every, everything that bitch bring in, it got some type of pork in it. And that's all Jake want to do. So what the Lord do? I will surely hide my face in that day for all the evils which thou, which thou shalt have wrought in, in, in that day. Are turned unto other gods. So the Lord, when the Lord turns His face, He turns His back on us. He, he He let all the nations whoop our ass and come up against us because of all the gods, all the wickedness, and all the idolatry that Jake was into. And and the Lord still, hey, the scriptures say the Lord's hand is still stretched out still to come up against the nation of Israel, man, huh? to destroy the nation of Israel, because Jake don't want to turn back from their wickedness. They don't want to repent. So Yahweh Shem Shai is just gonna keep killing. He just gonna keep killing, man. Like Apostle Tar said, man, one day he said the Lord is gonna kill and he's gonna kill and he's gonna kill and he's not gonna stop. The Lord's gonna kill you, Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. And all you damn scoffers, all you scorners, the Lord's gonna kill y'all too. It's as simple as that, man. Either get right or be put down by Yahweh Shem Shai. The Lord's done talking to people, man. This damn talking, all this. All this scoffing, all this bullshit that's happening, that shit's gonna be put to naught. The Lord is gonna start killing motherfuckers, man. Yahweh Shem Shah's patience is running thin on the planet Earth, and he's about to just start killing people. Ah, you still got that on? Yeah, I got one more thing. Wait, this is uh, Ezekiel 28, uh, 20 and, and 38. And I will purge out from thee among you the rebels and them that, tr that transgress against me. I will bring them forth. Out of out of the country where the where they sojourn sojourn, and they shall not enter in to the land of Israel, and shall and shall know that I am the Lord Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. So the Lord's gonna purge all you wicked ass niggas out, man. He's gonna kill you, man. The word purge means to kill, to slay. Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah is gonna purge all wickedness from the nation of Israel, and that's why I said that. They aren't going to enter into the land of Israel because y'all going to be dead, man. Y'all going to perish. In this time of great death and mourning and destruction, a lot of you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are going to be put down, man. It's going to be, it's going to be a great la lam lamenting for, the, for Israel, man. That's why Ezekiel, uh, Ezekiel uh, 9 and 4, four is, oh, and you keep going down, Ezekiel asks, is the Lord going to kill all the nation of Israel? Because when he looked, all he seen was dead Israelites, man. It was bodies dropping everywhere. When them angels came through, them death angels came through, it was dead bodies everywhere. And the same thing's going to happen now. I got a quick preset. Yeah. yeah. Okay, uh, you just mentioned, you said the Lord is going to kill. And the Lord is going to kill. And he's going to kill. And this is second Ezra's... Uh, chapter 15 and verse 22 and it reads my right hand shall not spare the sinners and my sword shall not cease over them that shed innocent blood upon and, the earth and who's the right hand of the most high Yahweh Shai man so when Yahweh Shai comes man when 
when all these deaths and destruction come upon the earth, that's what's gonna happen. Now, can you read that again? Khan, Khan, this is Second Ezra chapter 15 and verse 22, and it reads, My right hand shall not spare the sinners. You're not gonna spare none of you <laughs> wicked. And no wicked person is gonna be spared. And that means that go for a little infant too, man. A little baby so, can be fucking wicked. You got it up. And my sword shall not cease over them that shed innocent blood. And cease, it means it's not going to stop. Mm -hmm. Like you just said, he's going to kill. And he's going to kill. It's not going to stop. Mm -hmm. I know, you can get yours. Okay, Isaiah 1 and 15. When you spread forth your hands, I will hide my eyes from you. Yea, when you make many prayers, I will not hear. Your hands are full of blood. Once she make your, once she make your clean, put away evil of your doing from before my eyes. Cease to do evil. Break yeah. it down, though. Huh? Break it down. Break it down. This is your how about you and Shah's telling us, uh, uh, cease from doing this wicked shit that we've been doing. And, and it's a lot of uh, Israelites right now that don't want to uh, uh, cease from doing their wickedness. They, they they think that, you know, oh, Yahweh knows my heart. But this ain't got shit to do with that. You know, Yahweh by Shem Yahashad don't want your heart. He wants your soul. He wants your whole heart, body, and soul. And everything. There's still more than second. You know. It's a lot more. You know. But, you know, it's just like the, 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 the checks down in uh, Houston. They didn't start crying for the Lord until all hell broke out. Shit, they didn't even cry for the Lord, man. They just said to pray. They no, ain't saying they crying for the government. To yeah, that's that's yeah. what they praying to. They want they want Esau to come through and help them. That's what these niggas want. They want Esau that bitch saying pray, pray so what? So Esau can come in and, and save you. You don't want you how about Shimmy out shot, man. Y'all want to run like like them Jakes did in uh in uh in seventy A D. A couple of them ran to uh. Fuck, it was a, it was one of the mamas, I forget the name of it. But they fucking end up dying out and starving out. But I forgot the name of it. Uh what's that mountain that they ran to? And Jake said they started they were starving on the mountain and the Romans seized them. And they oh, killed themselves. Shit. They killed uh, themselves. They all shit. killed themselves. I know what you're talking about, I forgot the name of it. Yeah, but Jake shit. Jake wanna run the mountains and hide in mountains and, and do what they want to trust themselves. They don't want to run to Yahweh by Shem Yahushai. They don't want to run to that true mountain, which is the mountain of Yahushai, man. The, that tower of righteousness. Jake want to run to Esau, though, the, the world governments and shit. But not to the government of Yahweh by Shem Yahushai. There's brothers throughout the four corners of the earth. There's brothers in Houston, man. You, you people probably heard. You people did hear the brother in, brothers in Houston, man. The brothers in Dallas. All the camps that's down there. Y'all heard. Y'all have heard the truth, man. That's why the Lord brought that death and destruction, man. It's, it's no it's excuse, man. The the word is being pushed through the planet Earth. Every Everyone is hearing this, man. If you get caught up out here in, in this hell, in this tribulation, that's on your ass, man. Because you didn't want to hearken. It's not Yahweh by Shem Yahweh's fault that y'all didn't want to hearken unto his prophets. You got more? I know. What did you read, actually? That was Isaiah, uh, um, 15 and 16. 1 and 15? Uh, uh, 1 and 15, Kyle. 1 and 15. Uh, oh, Kyle, I got one more scripture after that. Learn to do well and seek judgment. Relieve the oppressed and judge the fatherless and plead unto the widow. Yeah. No, no, no. They don't go with that precept. No, uh-uh. That beginning part was good. I do. I know you got precept. You can get your uh, yeah. Okay, uh, uh, this is uh, Second Esther, uh, chapter nine, verse eleven and twelve. And they that have loathed my law, yep. while they had yet liberty, and That's when right. as yet place of repentance was open unto them, understood not, but despised it. Uh, so when the most uh, when the time was free and open, everybody had oh fuck that, and then you in a cult. Oh, no, fuck religion, yeah, fuck God, that. this and that. When, when the Most High had the time before his great punishment, our people didn't take him serious. All right, so when he... Well, it's going to keep going. I'll keep reading. The same must know it after death and pain. Death by pain, is it? Oh, so like it by death, death by pain. So are those same ones, the same ones of our people that wanted to 
uh, put the words not that thought everything uh, didn't exist, the thought that this truth was a bunch of bull, they going to know uh, death by pain, by whatever. And there's many ways of pains. Mm -hmm. uh, Sirach 39, you got beast crazy and vengeance. There's many type of ways that the Lord is going to bring his judgment for our people neglecting this word. Or it can't hardly one of them. Huh. And, it's, and it's more, man. It's going to be more shit. This is just the start, man. Oh, this is uh, this the birth. The prelims. Yeah, it's a prelims. <laughs> yeah, birthday too. Uh, pre yeah, the appetizer. Yeah, yeah the appetizer. Full, of course. This is a small appetizer. Yeah, it's not even yeah. big. This is a little. Keep out the kitty, man. Yeah, little, <laughs> little, chicken some, fingers. This ain't even an appetizer. This <laughs> is the bread that you get when you walk in. No, the peanuts. This is peanuts. This is the peanuts you that? get when you walk in at a what's Damn, that Texas Roadhouse? Yeah, this is just a glass. This is a water. This is the peanuts. This ain't nothing to, compared to what's about to happen upon the planet Earth. Great hell and destruction and famine and woes and tribulation is about to happen. Precept. Out of precept. Out of precept for what the brother just said. This is Second Ezra chapter two. Verse 33, I, Ezra, received a charge of the Lord Yahweh upon the Mount Orem, uh, that I should go unto Israel. But when I came unto them, they sent me at night and despised the commandment of the Lord. Huh. You know, that Ooh, was, yeah. I got a good precept. Go ahead, I break that down. <laughs> that was just a precept from what the brother brought out in uh, the, the ninth chapter of Second Ezra, because uh, that was. Because this has been so many times where uh, the Most High has sent out the prophets, judges, to, to uh, set up a king, you know, mm -hmm. some type of form of leadership. Well, actually, to the Lord, I, not even to not to cut you off, but we weren't even supposed to have kings. Our people wanted to follow the heathens yeah, and, and uh, want a king. So when the Most High set up kings, it says the that. king started going mm -hmm. off being with kings. It yeah, says right. that too. He said mm -hmm. they want to be like the heathens. Yeah. Yeah. It says that. It says they want to, because then it's like, they reject me. It says that in the same. It says they rejected me, but they have now rejected you. So set, set them up a king. Let them have, because it says that the Lord is supposed to be our king. But the Lord's like, all right, they want to have a king like the other nations. They want to have that. Look, Sammy, go tell them. Set up a king. But that king's going to be wicked unto them. Because it's going to be, it's gonna be a, a rough king. Then you had King David, and then you, uh, then you had righteous kings. Then some rice kings, and you have wicked kings. Then, Primarily wicked. Yeah, most the yeah, northern tribe is fucking. Most of them kings are fucking evil as hell, man. Well, yeah, fucking yeah. Abba, the bat, Sorry. all them fucking Jer Jeroboam, all them wicked. Jeroboam, Jeroboam. No, huh? Jeroboam, Jeroboam. All slots, No, Jeroboam, Jeroboam was northern tribe. Jeroboam was a southern tribe. Mm -hmm. So like Jeroboam was selling something? Yeah, yeah. Jeroboam was born the king. Yeah, yeah. And then the prophets came up to them. They were scoffing the prophets. Oh, yeah. Didn't one of them lock up the prophets? Yeah, one of them. So he took counsel of the younger men around him. Yeah. One time, Malachi, oh, I think I was getting, it's like Malachi, but it's like, it's something to like that effect, but... Abai, Abahai, something like that. One of the northern tribes king locked him up because he used to always tell him bad things. Which was really, look, it was to his benefit, like, don't go to war with them, you're going to die. Because uh, Yahweh Shapat came in, which was Jehoshaphat, he, he's like, hey, don't you, you got one of the men of the Lord? You got, you got a prophet around? You got a righteous prophet other than these 400? He's like, yeah, man, I got one. He always tell me bad titans. He never, he never tell me what I want to hear. That's Jake, that's Jake man. Jake want to oh, hear, hear, want always want to hear what they want to hear. <coughs> always wants to oh, play kiss ass. Yeah, I got it right here. This is First Kings, twenty two and eight. And the king of Israel said unto Jehoshaphat, There is yet one man, um, Micah, Micah, the son of El Elah. By whom we may inquire of the Lord Yahweh by Shemuel Shai, but I hate him, for he does not prophesy prophesy good concerning me, but evil. And Yahweh said, 
let let not the king say so. Because Yahweh's father was a righteous man, but this fucking Abba who eventually died, he, he was doing righteousness, then he started doing wickedness, then he repented, the Lord had mercy on him, and then he did wickedness again, then he got killed. So all the people, all these, all wicked people hate the prophets, man. Because he said, he said, but I hate him. He said, I have a hatred against him, man, because he always telling me what I don't want to hear. You're not going to hear what you want to hear. Uh, one time, the uh, brother of Kyra come into this video, he said, I'm here to tell you something that you're not going to like to hear, or something not peaceful. So we're not going to tell you any peaceful words, man. We're going to tell you rough and hard words. Only peaceful words is for the elect of the nation of Israel if you're trying to get right. And push the peaceful words, and that will be, will be the kingdom of heaven is going to be established. But first, you got to go through this hell. If you're wicked, only thing that you're going to hear is that you're going to die. That the Lord is going to slay you. And whatever type of way he do it, you not going to enjoy it. But we going to enjoy watching you, you die. We're going to laugh at your calamities. Uh, uh, I know you can get yours. Okay, Ty. Um, um, Ezra, 2 Ezra 7 and 20. For there be many that perish in this life because they despise the law of Yahweh that is set before them. For Yahweh has given a strict commandment to such as Cain that they should do to live. It says straight. That means there's no, there's no bullshit in it. There's no, oh, maybe this or that. It's straight. It's straightforward. You do this. If you do that, you're going to die. If you do this, you're going to live. It's straightforward. There's no, there's no way you can get no confused. It's simple. Okay. There's no gray areas. You got to even as they came, what they should observe to avoid punishment. So what, to avoid punishment? Okay. So what to do and not to do. And so, yeah. So you, Jake, Jake know what, what not to do and do. Because you tell the Israel, certain Jake know that you're not supposed to eat pork. Mm -hmm. Certain Jake know that you're not supposed to get a lineup. But what, they still do it. They still bought their head. Still commit adultery. So a lot of Israelites, a lot of niggas I'll say, nigga likes. No, hey, you're not supposed to be sleeping with another man's woman. The Lord, he'll be back in 70 years, man. I ain't got time to repent. Oh, I'm getting, I'm smoking this blunt right now. Jake, boy, Jake, no, I ain't supposed to be smoking no damn blunts, man. Or fucking taking ass. That's why shit. it's such a controversial thing. Yeah. If it was okay, why don't you step out in public with that man's wife? Why don't you walk past him with her? Don't you say hi yeah, with her? Because you, know, you know you're not you know, supposed to be doing that's it. That's why they do it yeah. in the dark. You're not going to step into a daycare with a blood in your mouth. Blowing in front of everybody. You know that's fucked up. Unless you're in California. Yeah. <laughs> uh, California. I'm on, you had some? Or that one you had uh, that you was reading? Uh, God. I got something to do. Um, or did, did you still want to finish or you got on it? Uh, no, I'm done with it. Okay. Uh, Kratzo, you had anything? Uh, no. Okay. Uh. I know you can finish okay. short. Okay, uh, okay. Verse 22 